What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today, as you saw in the title, we're going to be taking a look at this guy here. The carburetor for the 53 Pontiac. Uh, I did put it together. This was a bucket of, this pail was a pail of parts. Um, I wanted to make sure everything was there before I started this. So I, you know, assembled it. There is a piece in there, as you guys can see, a little locking tab guy right in there that I didn't put on. So I couldn't figure out where that went. Now, I know there's about 40 of you guys in the comments section that are like, I know exactly where that goes. And that's why I love you guys. Because you know more about this than normal. But I also know where that goes. I figured it out. And we'll talk about that while we're doing this. So let me get this out of here first. And foremost, here's the kit that I'm using to rebuild it. So and this is for the Carter WD. Oh, it's got, it's got instructions. The Carter WDs. So I'm going to set it all up. That, I don't know if I'm going to do the setting up of it, because there's a couple guys in town here that are really, really good at this kind of junk. So I think I'm going to let them take a stab at that, and I'll just do the rebuild. Ooh, she's heavy. So and then there's the old gaskets. As you can see, they're just some of them maybe reused. No, well, maybe they're they're trash. So here's what we got to work with. Let me zoom out a bit. I got uh, super clean. We're gonna pour some super clean in that bucket. I got some gloves and uh, a scrubber. <laughs> so I don't because this stuff here. As you guys can see, it's super corrosive. So, we want to be safe. Uh, yeah. Get all that gunk and junk off of there. Make this thing look brand new. Put it together all nice. I got the hammer, screwdriver just in case. Some brake cleaner and some carb cleaner. Pail of water to uh, rinse off the parts when we're done. And then paper towel to dry them quickly. Got the laptop and a beer. Because, you know... Gotta have a laptop and a beer while you're working. So, but before we begin everything, I just want to take a second to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart so much for all the recent subs we've gotten. Like, I wanted to hit 100 by the end of the year. We're at 111 by the timing or time of this filming, which is, I think, the 3rd of December, I think. I don't know, I've been rank sick the last month, and so was my kids. So, it's been a, yeah, November wasn't very good. So, but I thank you guys. I appreciate it. I know you guys love seeing that 53. And, uh, we got more content to come on it. Um, I bought, or I finally paid off my welder. So, that'll be coming soon. And, uh, if uh, our channel gets bigger and I can afford to buy my own, because that's my stepdad's car. I think I said that in the video. But, yeah, that's my stepdad's car. I found another one. I have another 53 Pontiac, but a four-door. And it's even, I'd almost say, a nicer shape. And it's sitting in a field. So, comment down below if you guys want to see me grab that. Uh, but I need the money. <laughs> Christmas broke me. Anyways, enough of the Ameren. Let me set up the GoPro, or the, the camera mount there. And we will start tearing this apart. And see what we got going on inside. Do, uh, stuff like that. Um, oh, that piece. It goes inside of here, as you guys probably probably know. Those of you who know, know. Uh, can I get these out with my fingers? Yes, I can. Is there supposed to be like a gasket that goes around here? I don't think there's one in the kit. So you guys will know. Oh, I forgot to grab my assembly loop. For the, Darn it. Oh, well, we'll be fine. So, get some live action. <laughs> It goes, and I'm now. I might be wrong on this, okay? But it goes right down in there, or on. I think it's in here somewhere, and it hooks those two together. You can see how there's like a. I don't know if you can see it. There's a thing down there, right? So that. And that got to be together. See? So. 
I could be wrong. Comment down below. I'd love to hear it. Uh, I think that's the only piece that we're missing from this carb is that to make it functional. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I was zoomed in and flipped around. But yeah, it's the only piece that make it because otherwise, if these guys are going up and down, and there's that spring, that piston spring, it keeps them going up. But see. Shouldn't that be hooked together? So, I don't know, folks. Comment down below. Let me know. I'd love to hear it. I'm just going to check the instructions, though, just to double check. But uh, we'll take it apart, and we'll see what's up. Alright guys, as you saw, let me take it apart. There's really not much to these old things. You got, you know, your main jets, stuff like that. So, your, your floats, and so, yeah. The only hard part is going to be resetting everything, but it shouldn't be hard. It should all go back how it was. Um, in here, as you guys saw, I got it completely gutted. So I'll be able to make sure that all of the passages are all nice and cleared out, which is a bonus. Um, and here's this one here. The main, the middle bowl, I guess would be the main bowl. It, it's dirty and there's, like as you can see, I was playing around in it. There's sediment and crud. Quite like crazy in there. So, yeah. I have to wash this one up. Here's the, uh, let me zoom in. Whoa. All the numbers. Let's show you how old this stuff is. Sorry for being shaky. And then we got the bottom part, right? Now, as you guys see, I tried to loosen that one screw off. Well, I'm going to have to grab my other screwdriver set. But there's a gap when it's closed. And it looks like those butterflies have fallen. So I'm going to reset them. And it should be proper. That should fix and save uh, help a lot. Um... The air idle control, like air idle screw, this guy here. Little trick, right? As you guys can see, it says lean and all that, right? Little trick. Count how many screws it turns it is to go in. And then, sorry. <laughs> write it down. That way, when you go put it back together, you should have no problem with it idling. That's the theory. So, but now what I'm going to do is uh, instead of breaking out the super clean first, I'm going to fill a pail up with soapy water 
and scrub all this shit down, see how much I can get with that. Because, yeah, I'm gonna end up having to get that off. Somebody else has been at this, as you can see, and grinded on it. So, that's always fun. But we'll, we'll get her. We'll get her all cleaned up, and then we'll put it back together. And then, uh, we'll get it on the car and see if she'll fire up. So, stay tuned, guys. Hopefully you're learning something. If not, at least it could be entertaining you yelling at me, telling me I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, this too, by the way, guys, this is a gun, a uh, pit mat for RCs, but also made by U.S. Gun Mat, or U.S. Gun Co., I think it is. Cow RC. Mag it's magnetic. These things are amazing. I use it for pretty much everything, from RCs to mechanics, as you guys can see. All right, we'll be back. All right, folks, we're back. It's been, uh, well, for me, it's been a couple days. But for you, it's been like a minute. I let this thing soak in the castor oil there. For a while, I'm going to be putting this stuff in here right away and letting it soak up quick. And then I'm going to get this together. Um, I found out that this piece here that I was worrying, wondering about goes down here on the linkage edge stuff. And it holds that for the spring or something like that. So I got all the instructions, even though I might not need them, because some of the stuff is different. Uh, the kit isn't the same. But we'll talk about that after. Uh, as you can see... This is spotless. This is all in there. It's clean. This is all clean, ready for the gas, like ready for the gaskets. That's all brand new. The plunger's all good. The the choke. I don't know if you guys remember this. This thing was just caked, absolutely caked. And now it's like brand new again. That's flipping awesome. Now remember, this car only had 70,000 er, miles on it. So I wasn't expecting the carb to be that bad. Let me take the cover off here. Yeah, I cleaned all the mating surfaces. Really, really good. Blew everything out. All the float bowls in there. It looks, you know, gross, but it's not. That's just the original old gold color that it was. So... For the jets, everything's ready to rock and roll. Cleaned up so much. Got this all done. Both sides are wired up real good. A little bit of rust dust. Not a big deal. Um, this throttle linkage here. Somebody took a grinder to it a long time ago. Or something. I don't know. It doesn't want to stay on. So I'm going to have to put a dab of JB Weld on there, guys. There we go. <laughs> yeah, somebody tried to die grind it or, or some shit. So I'm going to have to just put a little bit of JB Weld on it. Not a big deal. But when we're done all this, all of this, we're going to put it on the car and we're going to see if we can get the car to start by the end of the video. Yep. By the end of this video, we're going to see if the car will start. I checked it over. The fuel lines aren't hooked up to the tank. One, t one line that's on, like, the two rubber lines that are on the um, fuel pump, or plastic lines, I guess, air lines. <laughs> one goes to the carb, and the other one goes to a jerry can. So, but apparently the other guy who had the car before my stepdad blew the tank lines and, the t and cleared the tank out. So, I'm probably going to end up running all new fuel lines anyways, but for now, we're just going to run it off the jerry can. Anyways. I'm not going to do a time lapse on me putting this back together unless something comes up that, uh, you know, is really interesting and all, or you guys should know. I'm going to be reusing the old uh, pump. The check valve is really good. The leather is still really good and pliable, like really good. And the reason for that is the new one doesn't look the same. Isn't the same length. Unless it's super compressed. So. Yeah. We're just going to put this guy back in like it was. And Bob's your uncle. So we got all the instructions. We got. Uh, I might use this guy here. I don't know if you guys can see it. So. We might use this float valve. Or not this float valve. But this needle and seat. So. It's because it's apparently 
some kind of performance, a better one for, uh, yeah, when you get up the speeds and stuff. So we might end up using that, even though the factory one is still really, really good. So comment down below, guys. What would you do? Um, if you, I'm going to put this in. If you think it's a bad idea, right, I can always swap it out. I'm going to be reusing, like, 90% of all this stuff. At least a good 90 to 100%. Of all of this, this basically kit, oh, sorry about that guys, basically this kit is going to be just used for gaskets, o-rings, and uh, the occasional little clip, like that clip right there, so that's it. Anyways, I'm going to watch some auto auction rebuilds and uh, <laughs> rebuild a carburetor. We'll see you on the other side, guys. Show you when it's done. All right, folks, there it is. It's all together. Everything went back together pretty well. Even the choke's on, as you can see. Oh, I have to reset it, but it does choke things. Not a big deal, I can just turn it a little bit and it'll make it tighter. Um, in here, I haven't screwed, the oh, hang on a sec. <coughs> oh. Oh, excuse me folks in here I uh, was wondering how you know before about getting this stuff to work but it seems to have figured out I think you got to set it a little bit more yet like this one screw's got to come down like a little bit back a tad bit more but otherwise Everything's working, I guess it should. The vacuum pump or, or accelerator pump, everything's how it should be. So now, I'm gonna uh, bolt that on and maybe adjust on this a little bit more. Maybe a tiny, tiny bit. Don't wanna adjust on it too, too much. And then uh, we'll put it on the car and we'll see if we can get it to go. See you guys in the garage. All right guys, we are back at the shop. It is like minus 50 Fahrenheit outside. I'm not gonna lie. You can't see my breath right now because I got the 240 heater blasting me right in the teeth. So, yeah, we're back. We're putting the carb on. Um, it's right behind me here. And then uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, I'm putting my gloves back on. It's flipping cold. All right, guys, as you can see, cut the carburetor on. Everything's all hooked up except for the linkage now unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to get this thing running today because the guy that was gonna come and help me adjust the linkage and all this stuff because I haven't done one of these in over 20 years uh, he was gonna help come and help me like or kind of reteach me how to do all this um, is on Christmas holidays right now so you have to wait till after Christmas break so next video on this car we're going to be pulling the plugs, checking them, checking the oil, checking the coolant, hooking up a battery because uh, it was minus 50. I think that one froze. So we'll be jumping it. If not, I'm going to teach you guys how to jump start a 6-volt system with a 12-volt system. Okay, it's tricky, but I know how to do it. And uh, we'll uh, hook these lines here because I think, I can't remember how this goes. I think this one... Let me zoom down there if you guys can see. This one that goes to the back of the car, that goes to the tank, and then the one at the front here goes to the carb, I, I believe. So, but we got everything all set up. So I'm going to uh, put the air cleaner on. We'll see what it looks like, and we'll be back to end the video. All right, guys, there she is with the original oil bath air, air cleaner even. I'm going to clean it all up eventually, probably when it gets warmer out, clean it up, strip the paint off it, get an original, get a sticker off of Amazon or eBay, an original one, make it look original again, or, well, it's original now, but make it look brand new. So, this is what I was talking about with the fuel lines. Okay, I'm guessing this one goes to the carb, and this one went to a jerry can. 
So we'll find that out next video. Because next video we're turning the key on this bad girl. And we are gonna fire it up. So but that's what she's that's where she's at. Still got the uh, gas pedal to do as well. Um, the brake booster also needs to be re redone. It's it's out of the car. So we've got we got quite a bit to do on the old girl. It's a restoration project, you know, one thing at a time. So yeah, you can see it's so cold in here, guys. Look at the light, the light. Like look what it's doing. It's so cold. It's bending the light. Look at that. That's how cold it is in here, folks. <laughs> We're getting sun dogs in the shop. That being said, I'm gonna head home. Uh, yeah, it's it's warmed up a bit. It's about minus 46 Fahrenheit now with the wind chill. So, and I'm using uh, Freedom Units because that's what I was born on. Um, Celsius didn't come until later for us Canadian or for me. I grew up like I said, with old folks on the farm building old junk. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in today, watching me, you know, do the carburetor, get it all ready for the old girl here. Um, sorry I couldn't get it running today, waiting on the guy who knows what he's doing. And that's, I'll admit, some things I just don't know, or can't remember. So, it's good to have a memory jog. The internet's not always 100% correct, there's a million different ways to skin a cat. So we'll find out next video on how to do this one. So, but that's all guys. Love you. Thank you so much for tuning in for all the subs, the views. Um, yeah, I'm buying one. I'm buying, I'm going to buy one of these. If I ever, if this channel gets big enough that I can afford to, I'm going to buy my own. I found a four door version of this because you know, I love the four doors, four doors, more whores. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, yeah, that thing. Yeah, don't even get me started on that thing. But I gotta go home now and begin working on the wiring on it again. I lost motivation on it, I'm not gonna lie. But, you just gotta get out there and eat that elephant. So, Alright guys, see you next video. Uh, I don't know what it is or when it's gonna be. If, I don't, if you don't see it from me in the next week or two, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, thanks for everything, love you guys. We'll see you next video, which should be some more work on the Tahoe, hopefully getting the wiring in and wired and fired. I'm hoping, because I've got video content from like a month ago that I haven't edited up, that I'm waiting because I wanted to do it all in one video for you. So, stay tuned for that. Love you guys.